Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Sidic Alex. And with all of the positive reaction and community engagement on the earlier video today regarding the top six characters skill rotations, I thought uh, it would be really great to highlight two severely underused, severely underpowered characters. So these characters are basically sort of like toilet tier characters, Agent 13 and Drax, but they can actually, they can not only help you in Marvel Future Fight, uh, Agent 13 has a good leadership for newer players, and they both have a special ability that we'll get to in a minute that can make them useful for Shadowland uh, and some small world boss clears. Um, but I think these two characters are the only characters in the game that can help you master the skill or the art of, or the skill art or whatever, of skill canceling. And skill canceling, as we've talked about in pretty much every other rotation video, and skill canceling, which I sometimes refer to just offhandedly when I'm playing a character in like a showcase video is the is the act of or the ability to press another skill while you like after you've pressed a, like pressing a second skill after you've pressed a first skill before the first skills animation is fully complete each skill has a full animation um, and you can interrupt that animation and, and you can do different things in the game by pressing another skill and then you can interrupt that skill with another skill and you can keep doing that as long as you have a skill off cooldown so if you have low enough cooldowns, you could technically skill cancel infinitely. Um, although if you skill cancel too quickly, and that might be what the game looks like if someone new um, were to play it, like if you give your phone to a friend or something and you tell them to play, they might actually just see all the buttons pressable and press all of them in short succession, cancel all of their skills, and then end up being like, what do I do now? And then they start auto attacking because they have no more skills left. So skill canceling can be bad if you do it too aggressively, but the great thing here is that even if you're trash at skill canceling, you can practice with characters like Agent 13 and Drax only. These are the only characters, I think these are the only characters in the game that have this ability. I could be wrong though. And essentially what the ability is, is an immunity skill that triggers the immunity before the animation for the skill is finished. So it's important to, to realize that it's part of the skill's design whether this was intentionally done by the devs or whether it was accidentally done and then they just never patched it out of the game. Um, I hope that they don't patch it out of the game. I hope they just rework these characters as they are. Um, but in Drax's case, on his third skill, Cry for Blood, he gets a immunity um, for three seconds, only at tier two. So this doesn't work if you have a tier one Drax. And I'm not telling you to tier two your Drax specifically for this. But if you see what I'm about to do and it interests you, um, then you can try it as well. Uh, so he has to be tier 2, and then when you use Cry for Blood, you get 3 seconds of immunity with a 1 second cooldown. So that's the key right there. Because it's only a 1 second cooldown, you can spam this every 2, 2.5 seconds as long as you cancel Cry for Blood before the animation is over. In Agent 13's case, she does not have to be tier 2, she can be tier 1. Um, when she does backup, she gets 2 seconds of damage immunity, but you can cancel this skill before it's over now this skill seems a little bit worse or a little bit harder to do because it has a 13 second cooldown you just have to be fast enough with your fingers or with your mouse or keyboard depending on how you're playing so i'm going to first show you how agent 13's looks in shadowland i've already used drax in shadowland so i can't use him again but then i will use drax in world boss and i will achieve the same um the same uh, effects now i'm not exactly sure how attack speed will interact with this um with this setup and this sort of um trick i could call it um but essentially what you need is you need a target so you have to be careful if your enemy is iframing it's going to interrupt you and it's going to possibly break the chain of skill canceling um so you do need a target and then you're basically just going to rapidly you're going to rapidly tap two buttons quickly not rapidly tap all the buttons you have to put a pause in between each double tap but you're basically going to go, you're going to go 4-2 really fast. Uh, and if you do it fast enough, she will get her immunity. She'll get the blue bubble. She'll get the two seconds. And then she'll do the second skill and she'll go through that animation. You don't want to cancel the second skill. So here's what it looks like. After I, after I stop getting guard broken, after I stop getting guard broken, there. So there I pressed four, but then I quickly pressed two. We got our two seconds of damage immunity. The, the second skill is on cooldown, so I can't use it again. But as you can see, the fourth skill is not on cooldown. Remember, that was a 13 second cooldown. So it's still, it would be six and a half seconds. So it would still say like five or four there if I had not successfully 
uh, cancel the skill. Now, this fight is going to be pretty annoying because Rocket guard breaks with almost every attack. But I'm going to try and basically just go through about 10 to 15 seconds uninterrupted of skill canceling to see if I can show you guys what this looks like in real time um, back to back to back to back. So we're going to get guard broken a bunch here. That's okay. Okay, there's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And the really nice thing about um, Agent 13 is that she moves back and forth with her abilities. So you can actually just go through uh, one, two, and three, and you can kind of bounce in and out um, in front of your enemy in Shadowland because you can see she comes in with one, and then she sort of backs up with uh, two and three. You will have to slide in and get closer to them eventually. Um, the reason why I don't use the fifth skill I'll show you now is because it puts a lot of space between them. But you can experiment. Um, she has low enough cooldown on her other skills that uh, one, two, and three actually work. Uh, and so, as you can see, if you have enough damage, really the only, the only, once you master this ability, the only trick is having enough damage. Having enough damage is going to be the only thing. And I guess if, if you get really unlucky and they iframe, uh, in this case, Rocket doesn't have any iframes, so we don't have to worry about him. But if you were fighting the stage with the four blast characters, with Star Lord and, and Iron Man um, and Vision, it becomes a lot harder because they do iframe. But the good thing is that Agent 13 does have um, some guard break on her abilities. And you can sort of stun lock the enemy. As you can see here, I can sort of lock him in place if I keep attacking him. He has high dodge, and that's why I'm not having success. But imagine he had no dodge. Um, I could lock him in a corner and just continuously do damage to him. Um, and, I could, and I can still clear this stage. As you can see, I have enough damage to clear this stage. So my um, Agent 13 with no other supports and with a regular obelisk it's a um it's a crit damage crit rate invincibility obelisk it's just some random obelisk that i rolled um my uh agent 23 or agent 13 sorry can clear at least stage 31 of shadowland um with this build you know it's 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 in the top 600 because i have a legendary uniform and i did throw some urus on her so it is a bit overbuilt for a very bad character and i overbuilt her specifically for Shadowland, um, but it's a really fun little game to play. It's completely refreshing because it's not how you play any other game, any other character in Marvel Future Fight. It's kind of like Doctor Strange in a way, a little bit, um, where you're going back to one skill and you're kind of bouncing in between. Um, but now let me show you guys Drax. Uh, in Drax's case, I have a CTP of Transcendence that I just gave him now. So just keep that in mind. That's why his ranking is so high again in the top 500. Um, and I gave him some Uru again, just so that he can clear low level Shadowlands very consistently. Um, I don't recommend that you put this much investment into Drax. Uh, but if this looks like something that's fun for you, you can definitely give this a try uh, with your tier two Drax or your tier one or tier two um, Agent 23. And uh, you can, you know, sort of have a, a completely different uh, not sort of, you will have a completely different experience playing Marvel Future Fight than you do with the other 208 characters. And this is one of the things that's so special and unique about Marvel Future Fight that I wish they would embrace more often. Um, but these seem to be just like old vestiges of designs that just no longer apply. Now, Proxima is a little bit harder to do this against. World bosses in general are harder to do this against because unlike Shadowland, the arena is much bigger. So there's a much greater chance that you're going to be out of range. Once you get out of range you won't be able to cancel because you need to be in range for the second skill. Otherwise, you can't press it. If you've ever tried to press a skill when you're not in range of the enemy, there's just a white circle that goes around the skill and your character doesn't cancel and you just sit there frustrated. It can happen with Cable. You can interrupt his rotation and other characters. So that is definitely a possibility. It's sort of a higher possibility with Proxima because she loves to jump back and throw spears at you. But I'm going to do my best to um, show you guys what this looks like. So there we go. We got it. You basically just have to cancel it fast enough, um, and you have to be close enough to um, Proxima to, uh, you know, continue to skill cancel. Now, again, you don't want to skill cancel the other abilities, because those other abilities, um, those other abilities, you need them to come off cooldown eventually. Otherwise, you won't have anything to cancel three into. So if you cancel your other skills too fast, you'll be left in a situation where you only have three left. Um, and remember, he has three seconds of immunity. So you actually have a bit more space in between each um, attack. So in this case, what I'm doing there, I, see there, I screwed it up. I made a mistake. I was too far away from Proxima. And now my third skill is on cooldown. 
so I have to sort of live with the results. There, I was too far away. I thought I was close enough, but I guess the range on his uh, fifth skill is super low, so you really have to be, like, hugging and kissing Proxima for this to work. Um, I would also suggest maybe giving him a Guard Break Immunity Obelisk. I kind of regret giving him that CTP of Transcendence now because I can see he's getting uh, Guard Broken like crazy, but I'm not going to go ahead and, and use uh, Drax in any content anyways. I did show you guys this once upon a time when I slapped a CTP of Rage on Drax a few months back when it was all the rage to do that to bad characters. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this again just because it's fun uh, and it has real practical application in Shadowland. Even if you have an unbuilt tier two Drax that you just got for the, um, you know, for the tier two bonuses and stuff like that. You can absolutely use him on a low level Shadowland. He can, he can solo like a stage two rumble with the speed characters with Black Widow and Gamora. Um, and you, if you can master this skill, you won't take any damage from Gamora's bleed. You'll be completely untouchable. And like I said, iframing, uh, especially the Black Widow iframes are basically the only thing that can hurt you and can interrupt this, uh, combo of yours. So, with that being said, um, I hope that this can, you know, help some people out. I definitely hope that this can be um, sort of like a uh, practice mode for some of you who need practice with skill canceling. I think if you can master this, uh, especially for multiple minutes at a time, if you can master the skill canceling with X with uh, Agent 13, <laughs> X23, if you can master the skill canceling with Agent 13 and Drax, if you can clear Shadowland in like the teens or the 20s with both of them, um, using that skill canceling and never taking damage, I think it definitely helps a ton with that muscle memory um, to then turn around and be able to skill cancel characters like Doctor Strange really fast, you know, 432, 432, 432, and other characters. And it also gives you that that sort of intuition to know, I'm like, how, how fast am I canceling, right? Because as you guys saw, Agent 13 has to be pretty fast with the canceling. Drax, you sort of leave a gap in between, so it's almost like three um three delayed can or three cancel five delayed cancel or delay three cancel four delay three cancel two uh and so on and so forth so let me know what you guys think of literal practice characters agent 13 and drax i think it's a really cool idea uh, and hopefully some people out there will um actually practice and get better at it um and then you know suddenly turn into marvel future fight monsters anyways bacon agrees so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one take care